If I wanted to make this into a bilingual page set, I'm going to go to the settings here at the very top right, expand the area down here. I'm gonna to go to the user tab, and then I'm going to select under the user and select new user. Get started, and then I can choose from any of the page sets that I see here, but for my purposes, I'm gonna choose the core first bilingual English Spanish. So now I need to enter another name for it for this new user. So I'm just going to call it Christina Bilingual. And now I need to select a voice for it. I could choose any of the voices, but I'm going to choose Emilio. Select the arrow, select your grid size. Maybe I want it a seven by nine and it's creating the new user. And now, as you can see, I have English here, so I can say, I, I go. go. And then if I switch to Spanish, it can be, yo, yo. Boy. boy. And you can hear that the accent is both in English and Spanish pretty accurate, the pronunciation of words. If I needed to want, if I wanted to have a different voice, depending on the different languages that I'm switching between, Go back up here to settings again, go to user again, and then you can go to language specific voices. Here it's Emilio, which again, Emilio voice is bilingual, but maybe I would do add a voice and then select the language. So maybe in English, I would like the voice to use, I'm gonna select voice here. Maybe for example, I wanted it to be Nelly. So now, it's gonna have Nelly for English and Emilio for Spanish. Click done. So let me go back to English. So I, I like. like. I like. That's the Nelly voice now. So as you can see in the English, it's gonna be the Nelly voice. And then in Spanish, yo, yo, quiero. quiero. It's Emilio again. So that's how you can add a new voice depending on the language that you're using.